These are the three biggest dribbling mistakes soccer players make. In this video, I'll show you how to fix these problems, stop losing possession of the ball, and create more chances when you play. If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. First of all, tip number one, be productive. I don't want you to be the type of player who takes 10 touches, you got nice skills, but you go nowhere, you do nothing with it. You wanna be the type of player who takes one touch and beats two defenders at the same time. So think about being productive and you're gonna to have to be honest with yourself. You're gonna to have to review and analyze yourself. Am I actually doing something with my dribbling or am I taking a lot of touches, going nowhere and just getting closed down? And which also closes down my teammates and stops the attack. So think about being productive, but I just wanna make one sharp move and then go, accelerate. Or even more so, I don't even have to beat defenders. I just explode, I just take off into space. Okay, so as soon as you get the ball, just go, do not hesitate. You should know where you wanna go. You're playing ahead of the game. You're not just getting it and reacting. The ball's coming to you and you're already thinking, you're saying, hey, if I get the ball, I'm gonna go over here with my dribbling. So as soon as you get it, just take off and accelerate. When you sprint with a soccer ball, it should be the same as what you did, yeah? It's not gonna be exactly the same because you're gonna have to adjust to the ball, but we don't run like this, do we? Okay, same. And when I'm running, I'm trying to get away from someone. If I'm jogging with the ball, I'm gonna get caught. When you have open space in the field, do the sprint technique with the ball. Okay, it's here. Even if you wanna take one touch, but it's in your control, do it. So just sprint and then come slow back. I just want you to do three. Ready, go. Yes. And recover, come back. Come back slow, breathe, set. Show me low, pump your arms, ready, go. Push, yes. Good, and low. Go, one more, just set it on the line. If I'm dribbling in these areas, it's fine for these touches, but as soon as I get past someone, I wanna be quick. Okay, so here you practice that, the turn. Okay, so nice and low, pump the arms. And back, quick as you can. Go for speed, ready, go. Turn, yes, 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 yes. Good girl, that's good. I will send the better in one day soccer blueprint to anyone who comments hashtag soccer on this video. Low, low here is one thing. But here, don't come up here, yes? After that turn, again, stay low, pump your arms, drive your knees, ready? Hopefully fast, ready? On these long ones, push that ball around with it, yeah? If you get there in one touch, but it's in your control the whole time, that's probably perfect. If you need to take multiple, that's fine. When it's time to turn, that's when you do these quick little ones, get your hips around it. Let me try. Ready, breathe, go as fast as you can. Low, touch, touch, explode. Touch, touch, explode out, boom. Yes, that's the touch. Low, explode, good touch. So first of all, it's so important that anytime you get the ball, you're playing here. It's gonna improve your vision, it's gonna help you make better decisions, it's gonna help you play quicker. A lot of players get the ball and we're dribbling and we know kind of where we wanna go but our head is always down here. We can't see who we're passing to. We can't see the space that we want to dribble into. Okay, so you need to get in the habit, even if it's uncomfortable at this point, of always picking your head up. So how are you going to do this? Well, people always ask me, how do you play with your head up? Okay, in the beginning, it's going to feel awkward. It's going to feel uncomfortable. You're not really going to know where the ball is. But the more you practice this, whether you're by yourself or in a team practice or in a match, just always a mental note, get your head up, get your head up. It's going to become more and more comfortable. Okay, so when I'm drilling with my head up, yes, I may look at the ball to get my touches right, but every time I touch the ball, get it out of my feet, my head is up, okay? And eventually, I don't even have to look at the ball. Okay, my head can be up the whole time, 
because I'm comfortable with the ball at my feet. Okay, so my head is up, I'm always scanning the field. I'm looking for space to attack. I'm looking for teammates to pass to. Now, like I said, you can look down and you should look down to really perfect your touch. If you want to have a really precise touch, then yes, look down at the ball, look back up, find your teammates, find the space. Okay, the other thing I want you to think about is your peripheral vision. So my peripheral vision is I can look forward and I can still see the ball. I still know where the ball is. Okay, so start to use your peripherals. Be comfortable looking up and looking at the ball at the same time. If you want to improve faster and achieve more this season, use the Soccer Success Planner. It's 100% free. Players all around the world have already used it to improve. You can download it right now. There's a link in the description below. From moving up divisions to making national teams, players who use the Online Soccer Academy get results. Access elite level coaching and training, become a complete player, make a difference on the field and get noticed when you play. Limited spots available, apply today, start improving tomorrow, link in the description below.